guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Jessica Mesqua and thank you for clicking on this video. I focus a lot on nursing school related vlogs, also lifestyle vlogs right now because of midterms and a bunch of tests. My vlogs have just been entirely about nursing because that's all I've been doing. But next week and I'll probably be more free to make sort of a different type of vlog. The last video I had, I actually asked you guys if you guys could leave in the comments some video suggestions and some of you did. One person actually asked for a what's in my clinical bag vlog. I actually start my clinical rotation next Thursday so I actually thought it was perfect that I'm going to show you guys what's in my bag because I'm bringing it to clinicals next Thursday. I just finished my first set of clinicals and it was really interesting like I feel like I learned a lot. I also feel like I haven't had like a sit down vlog with you guys. I feel like I'm all over the place and always in my car when I vlog so I feel like this is a perfect little balance between our vlogs. I just finished shooting an Instagram reel like 10 minutes ago where I shot the products I used for this makeup look and sort of like a fall inspired look. So if you guys are interested in makeup, my Instagram is going to be linked down below. I'm excited to show you guys what I use for clinicals. I'm going to begin by showing you guys the actual little tote bag that my college gave us. It has all the stuff that I need to take. For example, um, last week when we didn't have um, in-hospital clinicals and we had to show up to college. This has all the stuff I need for that. It has like all the wound care stuff. Stuff that I'm not necessarily using quite yet. I'm actually thinking of possibly taking all this out and placing this in a smaller little bag. I made a TikTok once posting like everything I take to clinicals and in the comments people were asking if I can like leave links for the items I bought but I didn't know how to do that but now I know how to leave links like in the descriptions which on like my first two or three vlogs I didn't even know how to do that but now I know <laughs> and so all the products I'm saying today I'll leave them down in the description I'm not sure if I've left them down there for another video but I'll leave them down today as well. First of all, what is required by my college is white leather shoes. So, so that's why I have these. These are from Amazon and the brand is Hawkwell Pillow Top Flex Shoes. Um, honestly, I really like these because I feel like they were affordable. I was looking at some comments on TikTok and they were saying how they paid over $100 for shoes, for white leather shoes because their program is very picky. And my program is pretty picky as well about our shoes. And I paid like 40 something bucks for these. So these are pretty affordable. If I'm going to be completely honest, I feel like the platform can be better and it can be a little bit more comfortable. But honestly, my clinicals are only like six hours. Majority of the time I'm actually on the computer. These are perfect. Like I'm not necessarily walking a million miles, you know. But on a scale of one to ten of comfortableness, I give it an eight. So they're not too bad and they're like 40 something bucks. Um, I also have like my little pencil pouch and my absolute favorite thing that I was so excited about buying for some reason is this little UB pen. And the reason why I was so excited to buy is because look at all the colors. And I also could have sworn while I was working as a CNA at the hospital, I saw a few nurses have these and I thought they were the shit. Like just the fact that they had pens like this, I was like, oh my god, they're so cool. Like I want one. And when I finally got into nursing school, I was like, let me get one of those. But honestly, <laughs> I don't even use this that often because our, our instructors make us write in black and blue ink. But if your clinical instructors do let you guys use it, 10 out of 10 recommend this because it's the cutest little colors. I'll link it down below. I'm not exactly quite sure how much I paid for it, but it's not that expensive. I also have this watch that I actually bought at Walmart. I honestly don't wear it all the time just because in general, I don't like watches or like bracelets. Whenever I'm taking their vital signs for my patient and doing the head to toe, then I'll put it on to check like their ap apical or mitral pulse, you know, for the full minute and their respirations. Um, I just have a bunch of other little pens. Oh, and I have these really cool pen lights. I actually already talked about these pen lights in a different vlog. They came in a pack of two on Amazon. They came in a pack of two on Amazon. And what I really like about them is the fact that they actually have like pupil size on there. They don't come with batteries. Learned that the hard way. They don't come with batteries. So you have to buy batteries on your own. But I'll link them down below as well again. Obviously my stethoscope. This is actually a gift for my boyfriend. And he got me the Lithuanian Lightweight Lightweight 2SC. I think it was like a 2 in um, Roman numeral. 
I really like it. I feel like a majority of nursing students actually use this one. If you guys aren't sure what stethoscope to get, I feel like Lizamin's the most popular stethoscope brand. Majority of the students have this specific style, which is pretty cool. Obviously, I need a clipboard. I bought this when I went to Staples. I went there just for pens. I happened to see this um, on my way to go check out, and I was like, wait, what is this? I need this. And I really like it, however, if I can go back, I probably get a thicker one because they give us so much paperwork it doesn't actually all fit in here sometimes but at the same time I feel like it's a good thing because because it doesn't fit it forces me to get rid of the junk that I don't need but also it's like I wish it was bigger so I can just fit all that junk in here so it's up to you guys if you guys want a bigger one um, check Amazon or Staples as well I think this one was like eight or ten bucks it was pretty cheap this is what I use and I always take this with me I got these cute little notepads I was honestly having trouble finding something like this they had them at Walmart for like 80 cents or something 80 pages and they're like small. I take them into the room when I'm doing vitals or I just honestly take it into the room in general because I don't like to bring this in the room because then I feel like it gets gross. But something like this, I easily can bring it anywhere with me, stick it in my pocket, put a pen right on it and take it wherever in case I need to write something down. We have these very uncomfortable fucking N95s that the school gave us. My job used to give us the really nice N95. So when I put this on for the first time, I was like, what the hell? These hurt my nose really bad. They actually irritate it um, really bad, but it's between that or getting COVID. So I just put this on, you know. Um, also, these really cool goggles. I actually got these as a gift for my boyfriend. I need these. My N90. I don't think I should waste them. With my N95. Ugh. It really hurts, okay? So I'm not gonna press it down. Well, you get the picture of how I look. Oh God. <sighs> okay, I don't know why I did that. Thank you guys once again for watching my video. You guys are the absolute best. And I know I've been so stressed out with midterms because I have a midterm this upcoming Monday. If you got this far into my video, um, thank you so much, first of all. And second of all, the emoji of the week will be a, a brain emoji because I've been using my brain so fucking much this entire week studying. Um, so just leave that brain emoji down below and also please leave me a comment along with the brain um, either about stuff you liked about this video, any future video suggestions. I definitely do pay attention to the video suggestions you guys leave me. So um, feel free to leave any suggestions down below. Thank you so much. I really hope you guys click that red subscribe button down below. Also, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and see you guys next week with something a little bit more fun. Bye.